welcome to the Soul Tribe Podcast. The Soul Tribe Podcast was created to help you navigate through the world of spirituality, wellness, and self-development in an easy, grounded, and relatable way. We break down everything from the Akashic Records, manifesting, spirituality, and so much more. We want to help expand your boundaries and bring the spiritual world to you in a fun and easy way. Get ready to be inspired with tips, tools, and easy to digest information. Let's do this. Hello. Welcome back to the Soul Tribe podcast, everybody. We are back. Officially. Officially back. <laughs> Season six. It's been, uh, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a lack of time. It's been chaos, but we've made it. We survived. Yeah. We We're alive. We're alive. <laughs> it was the only time we took off in five years, right? That's the longest we've taken time off the podcast, yeah. And I mean, we were really busy. We yeah. were really busy. Yeah. It's, it was good. I think it was needed, and we actually, like, we're going to do, like, a quick episode today where we wanted to obviously check in with everybody and make sure that... You guys knew we were still alive. And we did get emails and messages of people saying that their Mondays weren't the same. And yes. we are sorry. I, we felt really bad about that. But we couldn't figure out how to record because we have our, our schedules are so different. And we both have so much going on yeah. that it was like, it was an impossible task. It was impossible. Yeah. Yeah. But we've had a chat and we found our kind of the way that we can come back. It will be different. I'll, I'll say that right off the bat. So let's go into that first, and then what we're going to do is like a a little bit of the energy for 2024. This is not a prediction episode, by the way. Um, If you do want the prediction episode, it is up on our Patreon, our community page. Mm -hmm. That is super cheap, guys. Like, If you want tons of content, tons of information, channeling, um, a book club, a community, a chat, go there. Check it out. I think even... Patreon allows you to like join for seven days for free or something like that. I'm Does pretty it? sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. So you can try it out, see how you feel. Then you can find all the episodes that are there. Yeah. Yeah, because we do three extra episodes a month. Yeah, it's great. We do one together and then one individually. So this is obviously the beginning of season six. Um, our seasons are a little bit different than other people's, I think. And I don't know if we'll manage this season the same. We're like... A season's like a couple months, right? Like we think about a season, it's like summer or winter. Well, I don't know how everybody else manages. We do a, whole a lot year. of people do like two seasons a year or three seasons or oh. four seasons a year. Like we do a whole year's the like whole a season. Year. Yeah. So we may stick with that. We may not. I'm not sure. I, I'm. I think I'll make the call on that, and we'll figure it out because we Boss. might have like a break in the middle, and then another maybe have two seasons this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll see how that goes and how our schedules, what our schedules permit, basically. Uh, the idea here is that this episode is just kind of like us coming back and allowing you guys to kind of like understand what's happening. But we're going to have basically uploads on Mondays, the same as before, but we're going to do an episode every other week. So kind of how we were doing it before season five ended. Bi-week- Why, bi-weekly is another way of saying it. Bi-weekly, yeah, we're doing bi-weekly. The only thing that I would say is probably going to be very, very different is the fact that it will... M- we're going to do episodes on our own because of our schedule. So we thought this was like the best compromise that we had in order to come back and be able to make it more manageable for us. And then as time permits and our schedules permit, we will do episodes together. So um, we're not exactly sure how often that will be. We will have to see how that works out, but that we will have an episode bi-weekly um, by either Lou or myself. And sometimes together. And sometimes together. I think we're also going to aim at... The reason for that is because of our such different schedules. Sometimes coming together is impossible. So we've decided that it's just... It's going to be easier to be like, we'll do some more separate episodes. And then when we can get together, we will get together. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also, I think this kind of gives us an opportunity because we've both gone down very separate paths on the things that we're studying, the things that we're um, passionate about even. Yeah. So this gives us an opportunity to really um, really just talk about those things really openly without having to like compromise on what we're interested and not interested in, but also be able to share knowledge straight up 
on an episode with whatever it is. For me, it will definitely be family constellations, the energy around that. Um, and also by the time this episode, because we're recording, pre-recording this, uh, by the time this comes out, I will more than likely have put up a form if you want to sign up for a family constellation with me, uh, or I will be already offering family constellations. I'm pretty sure it'll be the the previous one, <laughs> not the latter. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to give us an opportunity to really just go deep into those things that could really help each of you and like live with her Mayan astrology. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mayan astrology, cosmic stuff, cosmic updates, all those things. Yeah. Um, so like we said, we're going to go a little bit, that's bas- basically the update, right? I don't think there's anything else. <coughs> do you want to, do you want to put anything else in there? No, I think that to kind of explain why we've been absent and how we're trying to come back. And we're trying to reorganize how we do it so that we can continue giving, you know, putting out content. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the energies for 2024. This is something we conversed about already and, like, went into super detail in in our community slash (coughs) Patreon. Sorry. Yeah, Lou's a little sick. I think most people are at this time No, I'm actually not sick. I've actually been, I've managed to beat it. But everyone mm. around me has been sick. And I've been drinking cayenne pepper with cinnamon. And mm. it's kept me at bay. Good. Yeah. Um, so we did a quite a long... It was a, probably about an hour long, our joint episode for the Patreon community uh, video. We did a video basically talking about all the energies for 2024. It's not a prediction episode. It's more about what we saw... And we connected with the Akashic Record themes and things that we wanted to go a little bit into that today as part of the episode. Um, So we'll do that shortly. And then also, as always, I always like to tell everybody, like, if there's any topics, things that you guys want to, for us to talk about, be it uh, as a, like, together or separately, please message us. Well, the contact form will be on the show notes, but also you can individually message us on our Instagrams. And that's it. Uh, okay, so the thing that we really connected with for 2024 as like the overall kind of arching theme and energy for, for the year was this really, really interesting energy with manifestation. Yeah. Of like co-creating like- and creating it's like the next step up to like getting mm, getting things into your life that you actively are really want to create so it's a step up what i mean by that is as humanity progresses we become much more powerful or able co-creators with the universe or source or whatever you want to call right some people call it something else um but i'm just gonna say i guess like the universe i guess it's better to say the universe because it it's everything um what does that mean though that means that we have to consciously understand that we are becoming more able to be active creators so that means we need to really keep ourselves in check like, what are you spending time thinking about? How are you spending your time? How are you thinking about yourself and your future? Are you concentrating on the past too much? Or are you concentrating on that amazing future that you're trying to create or co-create? And so this is a year to really double down on the mindset, on programs, which I've talked so many episodes about. Beliefs. Beliefs, limiting beliefs. Uh ancestral stuff that you're like you know what I'm not going to continue to copy it my family this is if you ever thought about doing a family constellation or anything ancestral or it could even be past lives by the way yeah that's true Uh, this is the year to do it yes and do it as soon as possible like clean it out ASAP so you can become much more conscious and able and use that because Here's the thing, the universe, and this reminds me of Christos that said, like, the universe has this option over here. Yes. If you don't take it, someone else is going to take it. Remember he said that? He said that in the Akasha episode. Yes. I remember that. I, like, I remember that because I love the way he said it. I'd never yeah. heard it or thought about it that way. So this is the same thing. The universe in 2024 is giving us this really awesome option to become much more of a co-creator. The energy's there. 
it's up to you if you clean up the junk, reprogram the stuff, and grab onto the energy and say, let's go. Hmm. Right? If you don't do that, then, well, you're going to probably stay kind of where you are now. But know that that energy is available to you this year. From now on, it's going to advance every year we get into it. The more energy that's coming onto Earth, the more humanity begins to progress, the more DNA upgrades we get, all this stuff that I've talked about in cosmic videos, yeah. right? The more we get into that energy, the more active co-creators we, we're, we're going to become and more able to do that. Yeah, and the opportunities will be there, the energies will be there, the push from the universe will be there, and we just need to take it. And like in, in the episode of the podcast, uh, the Patreon, in our membership community, I actually gave a few examples of like things mm-hmm. that are happening in my life. I think it was three examples I ended up remembering. Yep, yeah. They were, just, they, were real, they were awesome. Yeah, yeah. And they keep coming up. It's really funny. Yeah. Yeah, so like I'm, and I've been doubling down on doing Joe Dispenza. You guys know that I love Joe Dispenza and Bruce Lipton. So I've been doubling down on, on Joe Dispenza and doing his meditations every day. And I did his course online and I read his whole book. Like, I'm, I'm not messing around. This, the universe has energy there. I'm grabbing it, guys, and I'm going with it. We have to take advantage of it, I think, yeah. because last year was a difficult year in that sense. It was a year of lessons. It was a year of, like, clearing stuff out, which usually means learning huge lessons. And this it's not that this year isn't about that. It is we still need to clear things, but the energy is more favorable mm-hmm. for us to be able to co-create, to bring something forward. And it still means we need to do the work, right? Yeah. We, it's not sitting back and like waiting, like thinking about something. It's like we were yeah. saying, right? It's more about like can, making sure that you have very, very clear. It's something connected to your heart, right? It's not about, oh, it would be cool if I had this thing. It's like, no, what do you feel? What is your desire? What is your passion? What do you want to do? What do you want to bring to the world? Like, what do you want to leave behind? What are those things that you need to connect with today to be able to develop, to, to bring something to the collective or humanity? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, you have to do that with an open heart and connect with it so that you can start getting the guidance to move forward and actually take the steps so that the universe can support you and push you in that direction, right? Yeah. And, like, if you think about it, think about humanity. Like, now we're coming out and we're enlightening and we're becoming more conscious. Think about us, like, 10 years ago. Could you imagine if the universe gave us the option to become much more active creators? We think about awful things in our brain on a consistent basis. Something pops up. Can you imagine if you had the ability to create on on like in a moment? Mm. You'd create awful scenarios. It was a protection. Yeah. But now that our consciousness is expanding, the universe is recognizing that and working with us to do that, obviously. But now we're more able to control our mind and our thought process. So now the universe is saying... Let's begin to give them the ability, but if they don't vibrate in that energy, we can't get them to do it because they're going to create disaster. <laughs> so it's for yeah. our protection that it doesn't co- didn't come into play before. Yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of us still had stuff we were dragging along, you know, yeah. more on the like, like parallel to that, I would say, right? And last year was... It was challenging. Mm-hmm. It was cha- oh it was gosh, a challenging yes. year. I don't know anybody that says to me that it was not a challenging year in some way or another or or like at a really deep level. Yes. Mostly those are the comments but that I I remember we had channeled or like at one point it was like you begin the year a person you come out of it another person. That was 100% that was for me. was 100%. Like I am yes. not the same person that began the year at all. I agree. 100% like it's Aurora crazy. would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aurora, guys, Aurora, I said, Aurora loves saying now 100%. She said about everything. 100%. Maybe I said it once. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where she got it from, but and now it's it's sticking. Maybe you should hear me. Say, who knows? I don't know. So I guess the message here really is like, obviously we all individually have to become more responsible for our own work, our own mm-hmm. mindset, our own beliefs. And working through anything that's getting in the way of us being being able to even just listen to our heart because I think for some of us we, have, we may be starting there we don't even know what makes us feel those deep that deep yearning of purpose and like our I don't know like your mission and purpose which is fine you don't have to be there yet but you have to be listening to your heart and like letting that guide you so start there even if that's where you're at and then and then for those of you that are a little bit this is, more yeah, this connected. Is not the year to like follow societal structures, societal rules. It's it's the year to follow mm. your heart and your gut. Your heart's gonna tell your you where, where you're supposed to go and how you're supposed to do it. Yep. 
Yeah. It's, Which is easier said than done. It is. And I think there are so many things in place that will get in the way of that. Yeah. But this is where we have to be mindful, aware of, like you said, where are we putting our attention, our energy, our time into and making sure that we're very aware of anything that could be hindering you know, us to be, to be more in connected, aligned with ourselves yeah. so that we can get that clarity. Yeah. And be careful, like what you're watching and listening to, because this year, since there's going to be a lot of progression with the co-creating, we all, I always say the posing side of human evolution, right? That's how I like to say it. The opposing side of human evolution is going to want to catch your attention and feed you, be worried, look over here, be fearful, look over here. This is happening. Oh my goodness. Concentrate on this because it's how they continue to win their side, right? Um, to stop the evolution or try to... They'll never be able to stop the evolution, but to, like, uh, hinder the, pro the progress of it, I guess you would say. Yeah, or yeah, say hold that. it back a little bit longer. So just be careful if you're allowing yourself to pay too much attention to that stuff. I would say, um, instead of sitting down and listening to that stuff that might, like, bring you into fear or worry concentrate on like oh you know what i'm gonna go do this course or i'm gonna go uh, do this meditation i'm gonna do this like i'm gonna go work out like, i don't know fill it with something else be intentional with how you intentional, use your time that's the word good one yes yep. be intentional Be intentional with the time that you have and what you're doing with that time yes that is that is crucial yeah because otherwise you'll it'll be like oh 2024 is over what did i do yeah how did i use that like energy that's that literally is there to support me to do something to move to move my life into a like a direction and a path that feels more aligned with yourself right yep yeah awesome if you guys want anything more like deeper deeper information on this specific like energy for 2024 there is an episode on the patreon slash community which is our because the people don't know what the hell the patreon is it's our community it's our community has extra episodes so basically patreon is like a page where you sign up you have different which creators. you can now get the episodes on spotify you sign up on patreon and then you can use your spotify and connect it and get the episodes there mm, okay so, yeah yeah we talked about this but i didn't yeah I, so I, I tried to set it up and then i wasn't sure if it worked and then i think one of our members had said that she was able to get the episodes onto her spotify because she's a member she's been a member okay for a i need to look deeper into that i'm gonna write that down in my notes because <laughs> it, yeah it's showing up now on spotify for those okay that so basically what what patreon we say patreon because it is like you have to go to www.patreon.com yes look for the soul tribe podcast obviously the links on the show notes and it's on like basically all of our yeah. youtube videos and you sign up, you have to have a user, and then there's tons of creators and people that have podcasts and people that are healers and all there's types. There's there's, stuff, there's yeah. everything, of all types. everything you can imagine. It's a creator platform. I'm sure it's a creator platform. It's um, and everybody has their kind of page. So your page can have different uh, tiers or different membership kinds, right? So we just have one. We have one. We just made it simple. It's like if you want to connect with us, we've made it super episodes. cheap. Um, and we have tons of, so as soon as you sign up, you have access to everything, everything that they've ever posted, Yeah, which is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then anything that is posted after that. So yeah. give it a try. I mean, if you haven't, if, if you've never, if you've never connected there, I'd give it a try and maybe even follow other creators. There's a lot of community. There's a lot of like behind the scenes content for some people. But for us, it's more like we wanted it to be a place where we can go a little bit deeper with the channeling. And we get we don't get censored um, so as much. <laughs> we're able to speak as much, yeah. So we are able to speak a little bit more freely, whereas here we have to be careful with words because yeah, algorithms pick up certain words and decide that you're yeah. not saying the right thing. Yep. That'll all be on the show notes and all the links and all that. And then, yeah, uh, like we said earlier, the prediction episode is up on that same page on the same community. So if you want to check that out, go there. And I think we will be doing a, a prediction episode on here, but it'll be like a more condensed version of it. So we'll keep you posted on that. And we're excited to be back. So yeah, yeah make sure good. yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram. All those will be on the show notes. Yes. And we're excited to you know for all the information we're going to share with you all, and connect with you all. As always, it's something we've missed, and I'm glad that we found a way to kind of make it work. Yeah, it was hard. It was oh man, it was hard. Yeah, it was hard to get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're, but here. we're here. We're here. We're here. And we're back. 
<laughs> I don't know, is this from something? No. No, it's just Lorraine. I'm just being weird. Uh, all right, we're gonna sign off here. Make sure, like you said, subscribe and all that. And then uh, we'll see you next week with a new episode of the Soul Tribe Podcast. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.